The OU Medicine Laboratory um, is a CLIA certified lab, which means it is um, certified to do all kinds of clinical testing, including COVID-19. Uh, this lab is ready to do testing as soon as we can get the kits that we need to do the testing. Um, there are three different kits that we've requested. These kits are um, produced by vendors. The problem is the vendors are not geared up to produce the numbers that we need across the nation. Right now, those kits are going to places that have the highest COVID-19 infection rates. So we are in the queue to get the kits. We don't know when we'll get them. But when we do get them within three to five days, we will be able to immediately start the testing. Um, that is the assays in the laboratory to determine whether there's COVID-19 present or not. And we should be able to run approximately 1,600 tests per day when we get all three kits here. Um, but as I said, right now, we don't know when we'll be able to get those kits. Um, so what we've done is, besides just being dependent upon getting these kits, we are working on other platforms so that we can have other ways in which to do testing. So the laboratory itself has ordered some other machines so that they can do other types of platforms for testing. So those are on order. Again, everybody wants those, so there's a wait time on that. But what we've also done is the researchers at the Health Sciences Center and with Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation are working to develop novel platforms to do testing. So we've got two different types of novel platforms we're working on. One, which hopefully within two to three weeks, we'd have it up and running. It will be able to do about 400 tests a day. Um, the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation has a machine that can do high throughput analysis. It's never been used for COVID-19, so we're, our researchers in OMRF are working together on that. Um, if we can get that going, um, we would be able to start hopefully within two to three weeks of uh, getting this started. That once we've got the platform developed, we would be able to run at startup about 300 tests per day and we could get up to 3,000 tests per day once that gets going. So our researchers are working on that. Um, one of the things that we're doing is we're using the researchers to develop these tests. Once we've got the platforms developed, we'll move those into our CLIA certified labs and we'll help provide equipment and technicians to run the assays so we can get them geared up as much as possible in the OU Medicine Lab and in the OMRF CLIA certified lab. So the test is based upon polymerase chain reaction, um, PCR, that a lot of our labs do. It's a fairly straightforward test. The issue is having all the right components to do the test and, um, and having the right equipment to do that for the COVID-19 testing. It's um, a nasal swab and a, and a throat swab and then the swab, the virus is isolated off the swabs. And I want to make clear what I've been talking about is the assay that's done in the laboratory once we get the samples. So the testing is done out in the clinic, and then the clinic provides our labs the samples to do the assays on. The um, clinics are doing testing. Um, they're sending the samples to various out-of-state labs or to the state health department labs for testing. Um, Right now, we at the OU Medical Labs are not doing any of the assays themselves. However, as soon as we get the kits and we get our new platform stood up, we will be doing large-scale assays. We, there's kits that come, they have everything in them, so the vendors would supply those to us. The platforms that we're standing up then have different components to them. The problem is a lot of places are trying to run these same types of tests, so everybody's trying to buy for these same components. That's part of the reason we're trying to develop our own unique platforms so we can try to use components that not everybody else is using so we hope we won't hit that bottleneck. Why we're trying to not just be dependent strictly on waiting for kits, that we're trying to develop our own platforms that we won't be dependent upon these kits so we can get testing done as soon as possible. So if we get our high throughput going, we could maybe do up to 3,000 tests a day just on that. So what that would mean is we'd be able to turn it around much more quickly because we wouldn't have to ship it off somewhere and then wait in the queue where a lot of people are using these uh, testing labs. I would say within the next three weeks, we'll have at least one to two of these platforms up and going and hopefully we'll have some kits as well. Well, so we've actually got two um, new research um, projects going to look for uh, 
helping develop vaccines for COVID-19. So we actually have a researcher here who is a world expert in looking at how um, when a cell gets infected with, vi with a virus, what the peptides that it puts on its surface is, and this is what your immune system mounts an immune response against. So he's actually looking to identify these peptides so we can make an antibody against that and make a vaccine. So we're actually working with a local company, Pure MHC, to, um, to, to identify these peptides and then to try to build a vaccine out of that. In addition, we're working with another company that's got a novel um, COVID-19 vaccine and we're doing the preclinical studies on that. So we will be um, looking for the immune response when um, the vaccine is administered and looking to see if the antibodies that are generated can kill the COVID-19 virus. Well, everybody should be practicing social distancing and everybody should be um, practicing the CDC good hygiene. And in fact, if you go to the CDC's website, they will give a good description of how to practice good hygiene.